Okay, I normally don't do this type of vid, but I just want to share a guy I think more people should know, and I'll put his YouTube channel and his website in the links below or in the comments section if I upload this somewhere that don't, you know, really uh, like put stuff in the description. I don't know if you know who 42nd Street Pete is. This is his book, A Whole Bag of Crazy, and he wrote a second one. I think more people should know about him, and I'll just read the back of what he, you know, is on the first one. I am known as 42nd Street Pete, a character that I created as a living reminder of the lost decade, the 70s. I was one of a million nameless, faceless kids with no direction and no future. We all had the ugly specter of the Vietnam War hanging like a sword over our heads. We weren't college material. We were clerks, gas station attendants, custodians, the like. Pretty much cannon fodder for the front lines. Most of us knew we stood a chance of being drafted and coming back in a bag, so we lost ourselves in the explosion of drugs, alcohol, sex, violence, and music that were the 70s. Hustler, pop fiend, porn expert, take a walk down a dark alley with 42nd Street Pete. If you were really, if you really remember the 70s, you were lucky to have survived them. Now, if you know a lot about New York in the 70s and 80s, it was a much different place, especially 42nd Street. Place full of adult shops and grindhouse theaters and all that. And that's basically what Pete tells you about. And uh, he had a lot of things happen to him. He's had a lot of experiences with some very colorful characters. Uh, some that were, you know, mixed in with organized crime or whatever. They tell you like New York at the time. A lot of these stories about things that happened to him. Covers a few other things. You know, like, you know, the gas crisis is in here. Um, but he also talks about, you know, there's a lot of movies that were made in the 70s that wouldn't be made today, especially by a major studio and many small ones. And, uh, you know, he was big on these exploitation films, a lot of them I'd never heard of, and there's some messed up stuff in a lot of them that a lot of people have never seen. And he tells you a lot about that. And I'm just trying to get the word out. You know, 42ndStreetPete.com, or Pete.net, I'm sorry, Pete.net. Like I said, I'll put the description below. And uh, you can Google him, it pops right up. But uh, check out his books. He's got a couple magazines. He's got some other books that like, he just wrote himself. It didn't really have nothing to do with this stuff. <laughs> but, uh, you know, for his life experience stories, I don't know anyone else who's had a crazier life. So, you know, just trying to get the word out.